Good morning, here we are in the Buffalo Harbor. We're about to uh, go out after some smallmouth bass. Uh, it's mid-April. Uh, we're looking to find some big old pre-spawners. We're looking for those big six-pounders, you know. So basically, uh, we got cold water. We're gonna be finessing these fish off the bottom. Uh, today we have Greg Tilly on the boat. He's gonna be <laughs> getting some, looking for his biggest smallmouth. And uh, myself, I'm Captain Hans, Hans the Carver. And this is the Cobra. Josh Kane. Welcome. Also the, uh, he runs Cobra Sport Fishing. So uh, you can contact any of us through Buffalo Harbor Outfitters or you can directly contact him through Cobra Sport Fishing. You can contact me through Hans the Carver or Buffalo Harbor Outfitters. So uh, check out the video, like and subscribe and uh, check it out. All right, so we're gonna get rigged up here. Uh, what we're running right now is little quarter ounce football heads that we're gonna get into, that we're gonna get into little tiny two and a half to 2.75 inch tubes. So here's our little, these are Bitsy, Bitsy tubes. And what we like to do is get some sort of garlic on there. In this case, this is my own proprietary scent bingo butter you put it on bingo. so really what it is is you need some lube to help you get that football head into the jig so really what we're using is it's a little it's some garlic scent this has got garlic and coffee in it all sorts of stuff really we're using it as a lube to get this big old jig head oh, okay. into this little tube makes it a lot easier there we go now we got some garlic scent pop it out and that's what we're getting these pre-spawners with a little crayfish slash goby you know whatever it needs to be it is so there it is There you go. Right here. He's a big fish. Oh, oh, get out of my way, Nate. I got to net it for you. Oh, wow. Look at that giant. Oh, and the quick release. Perfect. That is a nice slow. How many pounds would you say that's that? A, that's a that's a that's a probably close to a fiver, maybe nice. maybe mid fours. Whew. Look at that beauty! Notice they're all coming. Don't get mad at each other, Tilly boy. <laughs> we could have left it, I thought. This is a nice one. Did you shut it off? No. Oh, okay, it wasn't recording. Okay. I think it was. Turned it on. Nice fish. Here, Jack. I thought he's got it. Got him. 
Not bad. Ooh, look at all the silk he's got on him. He just came off the silk. Football. <laughs> <laughs> So basically we're out here, I mean right now we're getting a little bit of a drift from the current and we're just kind of slowly wafting along. Uh, we are not staying sedentary, we want to be moving. Uh, so basically we're getting just the right size jig head, in this case it's a quarter ounce, uh, which is kind of keeping us just gently bouncing along the bottom. Not too hard where we're getting snagged a lot, we're just kind of feeling it through those rocks where these pre-spawn bass are, are up there trying to you know, get fat and healthy so they can spawn. So basically, as we're doing this, we're just trying to feed these tubes down through the cracks and crevices or little swim baits, whatever. Um, I mean, a lot of times they want it and it's different on each day, but there's days where just doing a slow lift where you lift it off and it kind of scoots it along the bottom, that will, that will get you strikes. There's times where just kind of little tiny pops along the bottom uh, is the ticket. Um, there's all sorts of different ways that you can do it. Each day, you'll find something that they like the most. Sometimes they want everything on a line far away from the boat. Sometimes they want a steep angle on your line right next to the boat. You gotta kinda watch, and it's the, you know, it's the art of drifting for these smallmouth that really makes you good as a, you know, a Great Lakes angler. You gotta use that current. You gotta find out how they're using the current, and then, you know, you get the right baits installed and you, you do your thing. So, um, I mean, biggest thing around here is you, you, you don't want to fight the current. I mean, Cobra, what do we always say? Did you ever hear about the guy who uh, dipped his balls in glitter? Pretty nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't what I was thinking, but oh, that okay. was good. I love it. <laughs> Oh yeah, you still got a good line? Yep. Oh yeah. about the glitter. Oh, we got a double here. Greg's got him. Fish. What do we got here? You got a big one? Heavy head shakes to Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Come on, Mr. Bass. Swim right in. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Oh. There it is. Right at the end. Not as good as the last one. No. But okay. still pretty nice. Okay. You're welcome. Now see that? You see there's silt on them. They just came off the silt out in the deep water. So they're coming up here to eat, but you can see all these little brown speckles on their belly. is still <laughs> silt from them hanging out in that. Mm -hmm. Those areas. Big thanks to Captain Bob's Outdoors. Uh, they supply us with everything that we need to get out there and get our fish. And a big thanks to BKK Hooks. They got all the hooks that I need for doing all the different things that I do and uh, they're real nice. Yeah. Yeah, he was 
Oh, Cobra's got a biggie. Ooh, holy cow. Oh, that might be the big, that might be the big there. one. Oh, that's absolutely Look at that. Get over here. Man, we have two hands that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice one. Wow. That's the biggest one of the day, I think. Yeah. Uh, that one earlier may have been the same. Close. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. Wow. Look at that thing. Look at the propeller on her. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So we're all done for the day. We had a great day. Uh, I mean, in a couple hours of time, we were able to stay right near Buffalo. We went just outside the walls. We were able to find a bunch of really good fish, a couple, couple fish close to five pounds, a bunch of three pounders. It was just a blast. Um, right now, we're in the transition. We got our pre-spawn bass going, but we got an awesome perch bite. We got brown trout up on Lake Ontario. We got, uh, I mean, in, in less than, uh, what, two weeks now, we're gonna have walleye going. Uh, we'll probably be doing some lake trout jigging out off of the bar. We'll be doing some lake trout fishing out in Lake Erie, you never know. So we got a whole bunch of things coming. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all these things we got going on and uh, we'll see you out there.